Huge disclaimer, the videos from now on take place at Beecher's Hope, a completely different area, so I hope you guys enjoy that. I'm also using mods, so therefore the Remy you guys know, the Turkoman that I used in all of my videos, not all of them, but the majority of them, has now been replaced with the real life Remy. Since I use mods now, somebody modded my real horse Remy into the game, so I hope you guys enjoy. Totally important disclaimer, and enjoy the video. Good morning, it is 7 a.m. Starting off bright and early, this is Remy. He is my reigning horse. Although I decided today was going to be the day I attempted to teach him barrel racing. So, what a lovely time of this. He is not one of my main horses because I normally ride my horse Mario. He is my rodeo horse. He's just basically my go-to horse for everything. He does not jump, but he runs amazing barrel times, and I love him. So I'm normally on him, so my other two horses, I don't get to give them a lot of time. If you guys also don't know, I bought a mule. His name is Julian. We, um, his nickname is King Julian. We love him. He's awesome. So here's when Remy was, like, acting up. We walked all the way over here, so that was our walking warm-up. And we started trotting, and, you know, he was just being a goofball with these barrows i really don't know what was up with him he was trying to avoid them every way possible it's not like he hasn't seen barrel before because he has because quite literally the reigning competitions that remy does are at the rodeo where the barrels are so the barrels are always lined up on the fence line and he's surely never had an issue with it but i think just him being so incredibly close to it he just kind of freaked out a little bit which you know it's it's pretty normal for him He's definitely a more of a spooking horse, although he keeps himself together in the ring whenever competitions are going, which is awesome. He truly really is a good horse. I need to ride him more. I really do. <laughs> we actually have a reigning competition. I believe it's next weekend, because this weekend we have a rodeo, which I'm taking Mario to, which I am so excited. Anyways, I'm rambling here. Just so excited about the rodeo. This was an incident we had with Remy. I don't know what was going on with him. He was all over the place and just wasn't liking it. I don't know if it was the design on top of the barrel that was freaking him out. I really don't know. But eventually he calmed himself down and it was time to begin work. Now first we just started off walking the pattern so he could get used to it. I know the pattern by heart because I've done it with Mario forever. But he does not know it. So here I'm bringing around the first barrel. He actually got quite a good turn. A second barrel, he was a little wide, but it was still a really good turn for him. He honestly, he was doing pretty well. They, mm, well, except there, he kind of bumped into it. But after his whole spook situation, he pulled it together pretty well. Can we talk about how pretty the sunrise is? It's absolutely beautiful. There he is, bumping into it. I don't know, the first few times we walked around, he just continuously bumped into it. Yep, there he goes again. I... <laughs> It just got to a point where his shoulder was just leaning in so much that he just wasn't being careful, which is something we, we worked on, definitely. I still can't get over the sun. Okay, so right here we are trotting up to the barrels and walking and turning around them. Just kind of warming him up into each gate, uh, going faster. And he was, he was doing pretty good. He was keeping himself well controlled, which is good. Well, except for there. He took off in a canner, but that's okay. He just got a little bit excited. I also speak far too soon. So here I believe, yes, yes, we are fully trotting around all of them. Second barrel, he bumped into it. Luckily these barrels are pretty solid. And they don't really knock over, so. He was doing quite good. Gave him a pat, of course, and gave him a carrot, because he was just being such a good boy. I had to give him a treat. Sorry if my voice sounds bad. Allergy season is so bad right now. So, that's why I'm a little quiet. Anyways, back here, he stepped in a lot near the end and just caused them just to go wonky everywhere. So that was actually, that was a good turn besides the end where he kind of pushed his shoulder out. But that's okay, because he's learning he's never done it before. That one was actually pretty good, except for us completely losing track of where we're going. Here we are starting to canter and trot around the barrels. So exciting. I'm definitely a very impatient person when it comes to teaching my horse something new that one of my horses can already do, but I had a lot of fun teaching him how to do this. I bought Mario as not a finished barrel horse, but he already knew what he was doing. He had run barrels for, I think, about a month, 
before I bought him, and he was a little wonky, kind of like Remy here, see over canning over to it, yeah, how he goes a little wide, that's what he was like at first, but Mario is an amazing barrel racing horse now, like I said, we have a rodeo coming up this weekend, so I'll make sure to make a video about Mario doing absolutely amazing in the rodeo, because I know he will, he always has, so we are continuously doing the really ugly turns, See that? Okay, I think that was actually one of our best ones for the night, and that was the worst one. He had the biggest, like, phase today of going around the second barrel and coming back down to a trot. And he just continuously did it. I don't know what it was with him and trotting around the second barrel, but that, that was horrible. Oh my goodness. This was, okay, I believe that was the first barrel that he actually um, went around without trotting. Also, the cantering and then slowing down to a trot around the barrels, we did a lot more of those rounds, so I forgot to mention that. We didn't just do it one time. And I think that was what we ended off on. Yes, that was what we ended off on. He did really amazing. We were just out there for like a straight hour, and he was tired. I was tired. So, that's when we called it a day. So yeah, that's, that's how our day went. It was actually pretty well. I enjoyed it a lot, and I think he had a good time. He enjoys doing stuff. That he normally doesn't do and i absolutely love doing that with him definitely going to work on that more often here's rufus he says bye <laughs> have a good day everybody